everybody. How you doing today? Bernie Dawn coming back at you. I'd like to say uh, thank you for uh, coming back to wish me luck thrifting. Today we have another haul for you. It's a beautiful day out. The sun is shining really bright even though it's a little bit cold. But uh, I should say a lot cold right now because the wind's blowing a little. But it's not snowing. So anyways, we hope to have a great day and a great time. And uh, so um, I don't want to talk too much. And I think we're going to get right in with this haul. So uh, thanks a lot. And I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. And my first item that I have to show you is just two little, uh, two little simple bowls. They're uh, two little um, white glass bowls. I thought they were really, you know, cute. Flowers are pretty in them. They've got uh, blue and um, blue and brown trim on the inside, and it's uh, they have a, like a little swirl pattern in it. It's really nice. I only have two of them, but you know, as I always say, sometimes one or two, you never know. Someone might need replacement uh, plates or bowls. Maybe they have a set. And um, they do say, uh, it does say Mexico on them, on the back. It's Mexico with, uh, it says 26, the number 26 on this one. And um, this one is the same, it says Mexico, but the number 16. So, two cute little um, items. I've never saw the, seen them before, so, you know. Maybe somebody has a set and they need them to replace some missing um, pieces. So that's those. And then I have these cute little, cute little swans. I've got three different ones. Um, these are, this one is, uh, it's cute. It's a, a larger size one. And it's got um, two little swans on the side of it. are pretty. They've got the orange on it, the little feet. And that's really cute. It's, uh, it's in great condition except for right inside of here. Looks like um, might have been a little chip or a piece off, but a little crack. It's a little sharp edge inside. But overall, um, well, the beaks are losing some of the gold on it gold trims coming off and um, same as the small ones so that's all that I could see wrong with it and they're a Japan piece yeah they're made in Japan it's the bottom you'll never be able to make it out on the camera but it is made in Japan and um, they've got all their wings and this one is so cute because it's got the two little ones right on side of it so that's the larger of the, the swans. This one is um, it's almost like this one. This has gold on the wings. It's got the little orange feet, orange and black feet. And uh, this one's in uh, excellent condition. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, this is another Japan piece made in Japan. And it's... Uh, it's in great condition. It's got some yellow here on the face, the beak, and everything. Everything's all in the order. And then this one is uh, another swan. It's really cute. It's got um, it's trimmed in a it's an off white, and it's trimmed with um, some gold. And it uh, has, um, I think there's supposed to be two flowers on the sides. There's flowers on it. And everything's intact. Uh, there's no chips or cracks on it. The inside, it's like a little bit of rust or something on the inside. And on the bottom, it is a Japan piece. It does say Japan. And it has uh, 4D, I think, dash 52. But I think this, 
I don't know, the eyes, one eye is golden on this side, and the, the other eye is, uh, has green in it. So I don't know if someone did that like that, or if that's the way it came. Or someone tried to fill it in, I don't know. But anyways, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, wear, a little bit of the gold wearing off in, in different places. But other than that, they're three cute little, uh, three cute little goose. Or swans, I should say. Goose, geese, swans, ducks. So I thought they were just uh, cute little pieces. Then this item, or these items, I should say, are two little, uh, two little doggies. And they have a, a split in the, the, the hole in the bottom. I don't know what these are for. I guess they're just ornaments. I think they're called Scottish uh, Scotty Terriers. And they're cute little. I think they're, they're. I think they're vintage, and this I think is called Federal Glass. So I'm pretty sure they're vintage. This one is in. Um, they're in good condition. I don't think there's a, I don't know if there's chips out of the ears or, or if that's the way they're made. But other than that, and then, but this one does look like it, um, it does look like it might have had a problem. The, the tail on the top part looks like it might have broke off and maybe somebody glued it on. And there's a few little chips in the ear. You can't really notice it unless you look really good at it. But this part, you can tell that something happened on the tail. That's the only problem with it. But other than that, they're in good shape. It's two little Scotty Terriers, I think England. And then these were in the same bag with it, but I don't know what they're for. It's two little, two little beers, glass beers. Glass beers, uh, they've got holes in the bottom. I don't know if they went, if they're tops off of something or you're supposed to sit on something or I don't know and then there's a little hole right here in it so I don't know what that hole is for and I don't know what these are for I don't know if they're tops off of something Do they go on top of a bottle or anyway this is what they look like so I know nothing about them they're in good shape I mean there's nothing wrong with them but one has a little black dot on the ear and maybe just a little tiny chip under here where the hole is in it so that anyway it's two little uh, two little uh, terriers and those two little beards then I've got um, I've got these that I wanted to show because I don't know I don't know much about them, but down here. Oh, oh my gracious. Okay. I don't know much about these, but I found them in different places. And they are these plates. They look like this. And they're with fruit on them, embossed in them. paper stuff on it and um that's one that's another one it's an apple nice uh nice pieces i just i don't know i tried to look it up to see if i could find something out about the the uh, fruits on them, but I couldn't. I couldn't even really find this this plate. There's no maker's mark or anything on them, but I thought they were really colorful. That's a uh, strawberry. I think that one. Is. And then there's another apple.
And this one is, um, I don't know if they're plums or grapes. Maybe plums, I don't know. Grapes. Uh, some more. And this, oh, this is the same as that one. Yeah, so there was two of these. They're really nice. It's almost, they almost look, they're like a, the glass is not white. It's a, it's a greenish tint to it. It's a green tint to the glass. So this is what they look like. Two of those alike. And we've got this one and this. You've got there's two apples, but this one has a different. This one has a different uh, texture than the other one. Or is that a? No, I think they're both apples. So maybe one's a pear. No, I don't know. But anyway, that's what those are. And then you've got this one. But anyway, there's no maker's marks. I don't know anything about them. I tried to look them up and see if I could find anything out. But no, couldn't find nothing. So they're nice uh, serving plates. I guess you could put desserts on them. Anyway, there's six of those. I found three at first. And then when I went somewhere else one day, one time, I came across three more. So now I've got six of them. But I thought they were just really nice little plates. But the, when you put them all together, you can really see the, the tint in them. But they are tinted. It's, it's like a green. I wish there were maker's marks on them or any kind of mark to tell me something about them. But there's nothing on them. So, six plates. And I've got this, um, this, I thought this was a cute little box. It's just a little small box. Nice. It's got, uh, it's got the, uh, it's embossed, embossed, embossed with the, uh, trimmed with, I don't know what that could be, some type of bone or something, some kind of material. And it's nice. The box is, uh, has flowers all around it. And it's a cute little thing. And the inside, it's the cover. And the inside, it's a, it's a, for holding cards or cigarettes, could be pack. You could put packs of cigarettes in it or cards. I just put a box of cards and just. Uh, but yeah, I think it's either for cigarettes or for uh, playing cards. It's just it's really a cute little box. It's made. Uh, you know, really nice. The only thing I've seen wrong was just a tiny little chip of the wood right here, but you wouldn't notice it until you opened it up and looked. So this is uh, this is the little box. There's um, there's no maker's mark on it. It's only a small little thing. Let me just. Check and see how small it is. It is it's twelve centimeters long and eight centimeters high and seven and a half centimeters uh, wide. It's only a small little box, but it's cute. So it doesn't have lots of space. Then my next two items, these are, these are, I thought they were nice and stylish, these, um, these glass, um, they're glass, uh, um, fairy lights, fairy lamps, lights, lamps, whatever they call them. They're heavy too, I wait for them. 
They're in uh, excellent condition. There's no chips or cracks or anything. The glass is really heavy, thick. But I think one is this one is this one is higher than this one and a little wider. It's a little different. Um, so the shades are just a little different. This shade is a little bigger. And it's a little thinner at the top. This one's thicker. And this one's thinner and wider. And uh, the pattern, the pattern on this one is uh, is wider too. Yeah, the pattern is different on both of them. This pattern on this one goes. Like it loops around like this. And it's in excellent condition. And this one, let's see, it goes like a crisscross, like axis. But they're both in excellent condition. And this is the, uh, the base of it what the base looks like you could put a I just set a tea light in there but you can put um the, the candle Put a tall candle, or a tea light. Which I just had the tea light in it just to try it to see what the what it would look like lit up. Or you could probably find smaller candles, just shorter ones. So anyway, these are uh, the fairy lamps that I found. And they stand. This one is, um, see it this way. This one stands um, 19 centimeters high, and this one is just about 18 centimeters and a half, maybe. Eight, 18 and a half centimeters, 19 centimeters high. In a really great condition. Those are my two fairy lamps. First time I ever found two together. I've never found any, really, to tell the truth. I've, I've never really been looking for them, but I, just recently I've seen people um, talking about them and selling them, so I thought if I ever find any, I'll pick them up. I found two, so I thought, yeah, I'm going to take those, try them out, see what happens. And then I found these two, um, these two candle holders, glass. And I thought they were pretty neat. I like the design of them, how they go. They're clear here, and then they have a, they're, uh, they have the uh, different type of glass at the top. And then this, I think they're from the 1960s. They're in excellent condition, and um, they are, um, they're, uh, from Italy, yeah, they're made in Italy. It does have it on the, it says Italy on the bottom of this one, on both of them. Yeah, they're Italy, and they are from the 1960s. They're in excellent condition. And um, I thought they were really nice, you know, two little nice stylish candle holders. And you just put your candles, and that's what it looks like. And these stand, um, they're about, oh shoot, they're about uh, 14 and a half centimeters high.
And this I thought was really cute. This is, um, it's small, but I just thought it was a cute little thing. It's a, it's a little wall um, shelf. Little, or little miniatures. I just thought it was so cute. And it's even, it's got a door. It's even got the glass door. That's glass. It has the little glass door. It's just so cute. If anybody has miniatures you want to display on your wall, hang it up. And there's the top of it. There's the bottom. It has the feet on it. And this stands. This is it's about um yeah. It's about twenty almost 21 centimeters high and 17 centimeters um, across. It's got the little knob on it. Cute little knob. I think it's, uh, it's metal, a little knob. And it's got the shelves inside and, you know, the cute little shelf, three shelves in. It's just the cutest little thing, and then it does have the the uh, wall hangings on the back, but this one is missing the the hanging piece. It has this one, but it's missing this. This the thing is here, but the hanging piece is missing. So that is just a cute little um, just a cute little wall ornament. Whoever made it did a great little job. Nice. Then I've got some more plates. These are, I don't know, maybe people collect them. Maybe they have, um, they're in need of uh, extra plates or something. But these, i got to take the tag off. These, I paid a $1.99. They're six. And, um, if I can get the tape off. I hope so. I should have took it off before. I brought them out at the last minute. I forgot I had them. I want to dig the glass. show this one but anyway it's in there's nothing wrong with it except for I need to take the tape off it so that's the first one and um, anyways they are nice little plates they have uh, they're etched with um, with flowers but this one I mean they have they're etched but it's kind of raised a little so I forget what you call that uh, but it, they are etched with flowers maybe it's put on after on it and then it has the the uh, star in the middle of the plate there's the star other than that there's no other markings on it it's just uh the star in the plate and the etched flowers and they're 14 uh, they're 15 inches 15 centimeters across. They're really pretty little plates. I guess you could, if you had the cups to match, you could set the cup in them because they had the spot for a cup. You could just use them for little dessert plates or. This is what they all look like. This one might have a little. I don't know that comes off there's a little mark on it I'm not sure what it 
is. Really pretty. They, um, I don't know if they ever came in, in a set with plates and cups and, but these ones are really nice. For someone that's looking for some pretty little uh, plates, maybe they got the glass cups to go with them. And that's those. So that's six of those. I'm gonna have to clean up the clean up the um the tape off of them. me for reaching over. Should have had these pushed up here already, but that's me. Okay. I thought these were really, really cute. This is a oh, beautiful little uh, ornament. It's two little girls. Or it could be the, I was going to say the mother and the daughter, but I think it's just two little girls sitting down having a cup of tea colors are so pretty on it really cute and they have their little cups in their hands their little saucer they're all dressed up having their tea and on the um on the cup it says you are just my cup of tea you are just my cup of tea and um they're having their little cup of tea and the uh, they're all dressed up. This one has a hat on with a bow and they got the little cute dresses and shoes and and the, the chairs, the colors are really nice. And on the bottom it does say Japan and it also says American Greeting Corp, Cleveland, USA. Um, there is a year there, but it's... Um, MCMLXX1. MCMLXX1. Oh, I didn't even realize that was there. I would have looked it up. And then it says produced in Japan. Expressly for American greetings. And then it has uh, 500 HHF and 12. But it's uh, that's the bottom. It says say Japan. And that's the little tag under here with that information on it. So anyway, that is a, it's a beautiful little piece that's made in Japan. Ceramic. It's in excellent condition. It, just this little hole here has a, I don't think, no, I don't even know if that's a chip. I think that's just the way it's made. But overall, the rest of it is in excellent condition. I see one little dot here, maybe a little bit of paint loss. Everything else is intact. It's in great condition. So that's that one. And then I got another little piece. I thought this one was so cute. It's um, it's a flower um, holder or a plant, I guess you could put. I guess you could stand flowers up in it or, uh, or you could put a plant in it. And um, it has the flowers on it and, you know, the, then it's got the, the beautiful little bluebird, which I thought was so cute. It's a little bluebird on it, which is really cute. And it's got the hole in the back. You can hang it on the wall. It's like a wall pocket if you wanted to hang it up or you could just sit it, set it on the stand. And this also said it's made in Japan. And it's just a beautiful little piece. There's nothing wrong with it. No cracks or chips or anything that I can see in it. Even though across here it looks like I don't think that's a chip. I think that's the way it's made. There's no, you can't see any cracks or anything, but it just looks like a line going across to there and around, but I think that's the way it was made and it's no crack because it's not cracked on the inside. You can't see anything. But this is really cute. It's, um, 
beautiful little ornament. Another Japan piece. And this is a this is a nice little box. I thought the color of it was really nice. Beautiful the, the green. It's almost like it has the jade color in it. So it's really nice. It's a nice little round heavy trinket box. This is the inside. The color is beautiful on it. I'm not sure if it's um if it's marble or alabaster or um, onks, 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 whatever they call it, I'm not sure which material it is. I can never um, tell which kind of material this stuff is made out of. But it is, it's in excellent condition. the brass around here around the closure and it's in great condition and um, you know it does it did have tags on it you could tell that uh, it might say Italy it does say Italy on it, I think it's hard to make out but there's a tag on the bottom it's very faint you could hardly make it out then there was another tag on the top right here and I can't make it out. I got this jeweler's loop, but I still can't see out of it, in it, out of it, what it says. No, I can't make it out. No, nope, but I think it, I'm pretty sure you can see. Italy on the on, on this tag here. You can just barely see it. But then maybe it's not Italy, I'm not sure. And craft it. Yeah, I think it's handcrafted, maybe made in Italy. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. But anyway, it's a beautiful piece. It's in excellent condition. A little uh just a little nick or something right here on the back of it. I've got this uh, this colorful little uh, beer with um, teddy beer with uh, ceramic, and it's it's got all the dots on it, like uh, something like polka dots, but it's a cute little colorful thing. It um. It's an excellent condition. It is a piggy bank, money bank, teddy bear bank, and um, yeah, it's in excellent condition. There's no marks on it or anything, but I think it's no, oh, there isn't any marks on it, but it's ceramic and probably common you know they're probably not uh, it's not a, probably not a vintage it could be I'm not sure but the material looks really it's really good what it's made of but I thought it was just a cute little uh, teddy bear it's nice on a shelf or in a bedroom or in a kids room and overall it's in excellent condition it has the stopper in the bottom and it's a slot here. So I thought it was really cute. It's a cute little thing. And then the next item I have is uh, these four glasses. I thought they were really nice. I usually don't pick up a lot of wine glasses, but I thought these ones were uh, really nice because the glass is thicker on them. It's not too thin. And uh, they got have a little bit of weight to them. And the color, it's almost like they have a little tint, a, a greenish tint to them. And they're, uh, they are marked on the bottom. I thought 
they were they're in excellent condition. And they, uh, these were uh, on the bottom. It says La Roche, France. La Roche, France. I'm probably not saying it right, but I'm trying. You know, what can you say? But anyway, they're nice. They're four nice glasses. I thought they were, uh, and they're in excellent condition. And they are, you know, heavy. So. Because I'm, I'm scared of thin wine glasses. I find that, you know, when you're washing them, you got to be so careful in case they break in your hand. Because I had a bad cut one time from from wine glasses, from washing it, and it broke in my hand because they were so thin. So that's why I don't like thin wine glasses anymore. These are really nice. And uh, they, the height of them is... Um, they're 14 uh, centimeters high. Oh, they're not too too tall. But just tall enough. You use them. You could even use them for something else. They don't always have to be used for uh, for wine. It could be used for a sherbet or ice cream or anything you want to put in them. Because they are heavy, so you know. But nice four glasses. And these ones I thought were unusual. Well, maybe they're not unusual, but I just haven't seen them before. I've never come across them. So anyway, these are, uh, I got five of them. There's two, two tall ones and three short ones. And I, I like them. I thought they were, they're indented and they had this white design on them. You know, you hold them. I thought they were uh, they were nice um, nice glasses, drinking glasses. They're fourteen, uh, just about fourteen uh, centimeters high, the tall one, and this one is about nine and a half centimeters high. Or five and a half centimeters in, um, I mean five and a half inches. Mm. And uh, just three and about three quarter inches high, the short ones. But anyway, I thought they were unusual. I haven't seen them before. They're uh, they're pretty nice glass, you know, stylish. But um, on the bottom, on the bottom, they are marked, and they uh, they say for it's B O R. But I think some of them are missing the I because it says B O R M M I O L Rocco. But on I know let me find one with the okay. But on this one it says B O R M I O L I Rocco. So some of them seem like it's missing the I off of it. Yeah, this one's missing the eye on the end. This one. This one, I can't even tell the head's the eye. No, this one doesn't have the eye, but it's B-O-R-M-I-O-L, Rocco. This one is missing the B and the I and the I and the L and the I. So this one's missing some wording. And then this one has everything on it. It's B O R M I O L I Rocco. And they all have um on the bottom they all have a star, like a star burst. There's a star on the like a on the bottom of each one. So anyway, there's five of these, three three short ones and two tall ones for anybody that's, you know, interested in this style. So I just thought they were nice. I haven't seen them before, but maybe uh maybe they're not unusual, maybe other people have seen them a lot, I haven't. So anyway, I got these three for I think for 
I got those two, the tall ones for two dollars and these for three dollars. I couldn't find any more. I looked everywhere to try to find more of them, but that's all I could find. But I thought they were in excellent condition. Then I've got this basket of brass little things, which I'm going to show. Um, try to go through them a little fast. So this one is um, this is a, a wall hanging uh, cactus, a uh, hooks for, you know, it could be for keys or a towel or anything you'd want to put on it. It's heavy. And this is not metal, but it was in with the thing, so it's a cute little, uh, uh, it's, it's red wear probably, uh, uh, elephant with its trunk up. Then this is a cute little lamp, and uh, it says uh, Wonder Cave on it, and it's a pencil sharpener. And this one is just a brass little kettle, and um, there's no markings on it, and the top doesn't come off, but it uh, that's what it is, brass little kettle. And this one, I know people have seen these around, this is a, like a little grandfather clock, and that's a, also a pencil sharpener. And this one, whoops, I just took the thing off of it, this one. a cute little telephone and that's also a pencil sharpener they're all metal and this is a this one's a rocking horse this one's a rocking horse and that's also a pencil sharpener this is made in Hong Kong it says And then I've got another grandfather clock. That's a pencil sharpener. It's a little different from this one. This one has the round hole, but it could have been, yeah. This one has the square window. So anyway, that's the grandfather, two different ones, and they're both pencil sharpeners. And then these, this is in with the metal ones, and this is a, uh, it's a little spidey, but it's a green and yellow, and it's a pencil sharpener. And these are just two little metal figures. This one it does, uh, uh, doesn't could be marked, but I don't see it. This is a cute little metal figure carrying two uh, little buckets. And this is another little metal figure. I don't know if there's something broke on the top of this. Oh no, well, you know what? It's not broke. That's a little uh, animal sitting on the top of her head. Or his, no, I think it's, it's her, her head. <laughs> so that's a little, almost looks like a little lion or a cat or something on her head. And then this one I found. This is another little metal. It um, could be pewter. I don't know. It's a kangaroo, and she has her little uh, what do you call it in the in the pouch with the tail. This one doesn't stand up that well. Oh yeah, it does stand up. Sometimes it yeah stands up. Then the last one I don't know. The last thing out of that bunch is this. It's another little phone. This is a cute. It's a phone, but this one is uh, there's no markings or anything on it, but it does have. It's got a horse, a horse on this side, and a horse on this side. You know, it's got uh, one of those. They're holding one of those long um, things like you play polo. So there's two horses. And it's a, it's a cute little thing. At first, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a pencil sharpener, but then I come to realize it's a, it's a lighter, cigarette lighter. But I haven't had it working, but I know it. That's what you press to light it. So, anyways, that's what was in the in this little basket. 
So all these things. So there's all 13, oh, 13 items in it. And um, they're all metal except for the spider is plastic. So I don't know if I'll throw that one in or not. Maybe I'll just throw it away. Green, yellow, uh, uh, pencil sharpener. So anyway, once again, I'd like to thank you for your time and taking the time out to uh, watch uh, my thrift haul. And um, hopefully everything's okay and everybody's well and taking care of themselves. And I'd like to say uh, thanks for all the subscribers and this beautiful wonderful day we're having and I appreciate everyone and I thank you with all my heart and God bless and I'll be back again soon with another thrift haul thank you and have a good day